Wow. We minced it. Oh. Oh. Oh no. Greetings from Bermuda, this is BDA Lime, and welcome back to Draft of Darkness. So this is a survival horror uh, deck building roguelite dungeon crawler uh, that's currently in early access on Steam. Uh, I am playing the demo. Uh, earlier today I did a run with Jake, uh, the first character of the game. Uh, who is a range damage dealer. Uh, now I'm going to try a run with the other character that's available in the demo, Kara. Uh, so I'll see how we get on with her. I did not get very far with Jake. So. Uh, okay, so she can use uh, basically melee weapons. Uh... And she has a bunch of things. Uh, quick slash. In fact, you know what? We could actually go back and because from our first run, we got a bunch of credits that we can use to buy uh, booster packs. So actually, how many can we get? We can get twenty for six hundred. Okay, we don't have six hundred. How many can we get? Two seventy-five. Nine. There we go. Let's get nine. Um, and that'll give us some more uh, starting cards. Although, not having played her before, I don't really know what would be good. Some this doesn't help. Uh, in fact, it probably doesn't help. Because I'm going to have to go through and work out what all of those are. So let's just start actually with her basic loadout. So, uh, quick slash. Two energy to deal two damage or seven if it's a critical hit. Uh, leading stab to apply bleeding three. Uh, okay, which basically is, yeah, deals damage over time. Um, we could edit the deck and put in some of those other cards, but let's not. Let's just go for it. You weren't surprised when you got the news that there was a warrant for your arrest. Van hasn't been coming to work the whole week. He knew it was all lies when they told you he was on sick leave. He hasn't been answering his phone. Arnav Leech, your boss. He wanted to end that man from within, but it didn't work. He's impossible to reach. Too many connections backed up by the government. Maybe you can send him a message in a more direct manner. Okay, so both these stories are very, very kind of cryptic. Uh, the other one for the other character kind of started and then the game didn't seem to follow on immediately, so... Okay, we're starting in the residence again. Alright. Um, so these maps are procedurally generated, I believe. Um, so we should never get the same one twice. Okay, that's a creature. Uh, maybe let's avoid the fights we don't need to do. There's two creatures. Let's just sneak past. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Putting it here. Spooky sound. Dead end. Okay. Get stuff. Uh, penny. Chemicals. Uh, and dirty t-shirts. Okay, so we'll take all of that. Is that t-shirt any better than what we've currently got? Plus two primer leader. What is that? I don't even know what that stat is. But she only has a knife as well. That's it. Yikes. Okay, fine. Uh, let's continue. Go down this way. Oh yeah. Okay, another thing. Uh, pistol bullets, no good to us. In syringe though. Okay, a weapon. All right. So it looks like we can use <laughs> syringes and knives. Uh, so these affect the cards that we are allowed to play. So there are uh, in the top left corner of all the cards in our deck. There is a symbol which is either a gun, a uh, knife, or a syringe. Uh, and if we don't have a weapon equipped of that type, then we can't use those cards. 
Uh, and in fact, it won't even let us equip them into our deck, I believe. Uh, rats. Let's just avoid fighting as many enemies as we can. Sometimes they come after us anyway, but... I don't really know what the chemicals do. Give us physical defense. It's probably good, isn't it? Yes, that's just a straight improvement. Okay, then sneaky round past the rat over here. No, no, he got us. Ah. Alright, we gotta fight. Vicious enemy bleeding interval is reduced by one second. Okay then, that sounds good. Let's put some bleed on him. And then he's gonna attack us twice. Yikes, this guy is fast. Okay, and then we can do two slashes. Oh, we got a crit. Okay, nice. Poison spike, not so nice. But it doesn't actually deal us any damage. Just reduces our physical power and physical defense. And actually, is this him attacking up here? This is kind of the turn order. Uh, and the yellow bar is the kind of speed. When it fills up, you can act. So maybe this just indicates the bleed stacks going down. And he's not actually going to do all the bleed uh, the bleed decaying. So it'll take five damage there, and four damage there, maybe. But in between, he will attack us. Just want to stack bleed, or do we want to slash? Well, I guess we can do. We've got 10 energy, so we can do two of those and then two of the. Yeah. So we've got 10 bleed on him. Okay, it looks like he's. Yeah, he's getting like hit by bleed twice before it comes back to our turn. Same deal, two bleeds, two slashes. What's this do? Heal, okay, we can use that to heal. Team bleed. Uh, it's gonna kill him anyway. But let's use all our energy, why not? Okay, let's choose a card. So we can use all three of these. Mend three health, that seems pretty good. I uh, give attract two and protection one to an ally. Uh, uh, increase the probability of being targeted, increase physical defense by five. Okay, so we can, yeah, make somebody be a tank. Uh, deal three damage, 12 if it crits, apply be bleeding three. If you have stealth, the effect is doubled. Uh, let's, take a, let's take a heal. And scaled pants improves our speed. So let's equip those. And we do want to put this into our deck. So yeah, I, I confirmed, uh, yeah, in the last session I wasn't sure whether once we put a card into our deck we can get it back out again. It didn't look like we could. Uh, indeed we cannot. Once a card is in our deck, it is there to stay. Um, and there are ways to pay to remove cards uh, with pennies, but uh, it seems like that's a fairly rare thing. Do you know how, we see? how do we see how many pennies that we've got? Don't know. Anyway, doesn't matter for now. Okay, so there's nothing else in here. Let's head back out. What's this over here? Oop, it's the airway. Dream terminal. The terminal is in bad shape, but still usable. The text on the screen says, due to the inferior status of your account, you are not eligible to get exclusive offers. Okay. 
Perhaps the second-hand shop prints items from blueprints. We don't have any blueprints. It's in the shop. Broken fork. All allies restore 10% of their max health when they deal a killing blow. Now, what are these? Are these items that we have to use? No. That's a passive. What is this currency? Possibly something we don't have. X energy increased by two for all allies. It's the effect of poisoned enemies. Not enough resources. Yeah, I'm not provide that either. Okay, we don't have whatever these are. That's a shame. Maybe we can find them and come back. What's this? Uh, in this screen, you can 3D print various items with 99.1% accuracy. Uh, creation of a blueprint is required to be able to accurately 3D print. Blah, 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 blah. We can use this stuff to create blueprints. Okay, we can't do any of that now. in the oven. I suspect not. I think this is an elite. An elite killed us last time. I'm going to stay away from there. Ah. And stay away from him as well. And do as few fights as possible, I think. Ruthless brand new britches. Uh, okay, physical power. Does she need? I'm assuming she needs physical power for her weapons. Uh, so it reduces our speed, but increases our power, so increases the damage that we do. That's probably better. We'll be able to kill these things fairly quickly. We dance around these, or are they gonna come after us? It's another thing over here. Uh, woolen trousers, light power, and dark defense. And an energy drink, which will restore energy during fights. Print shells we can't use. Cotton hoodie gives us light power. Don't think that's good for us, but we don't have anything. Oh, that is the cotton hoodie. Okay. That was a head item. Okay, we'll just keep the equipment one we got. Hidden doors. You come across a trap door which opens to a dark corridor with two doors side to side. You see a figure moving in the left door. There's something shining at the far end of the right door. Ooh, shiny. We walk into the room. There is a shiny vase at the end of it. It seems like an expensive item. Something that can be found in a rich man's house. I wonder why it is here. What purpose does it serve? Walk to the vase. Dexterity check. I don't know. What's our dexterity? <laughs> Have we got good dexterity or bad dexterity? Let's try it anyway. You haphazardly walk towards the vase, aiming to grab it. Suddenly the ceiling collapses on you. The whole room is filled with debris, but you manage to dash backward at the last moment. You avoid death with only a few scratches. Okay. Um, I guess go through the left door. You walk into the room. A crooked figure is crawling on the floor, trying to straighten up and look at you. It's a torso with a head and an arm covered in blood and darkness. It talks to you. Please, end it. I am suffering. Seems like the torso is connected to a lever with tentacles covered in dark goo. The lever seems to get power from some sort of a generator. Pull the lever. I feel like we're strong. Try to pull the lever. It doesn't budge. Oh dear. 
The agonizing figure starts going mad. As you struggle to pull the lever, it shouts, Pull it! Pull it! Harder! Harder! Squirming flesh lunges at you and takes a bite out of your leg. Desperately manage to pull the lever and fall over. Once you get back up, you see that the torso is now lifeless, not moving. A mechanical clatter coming from the direction of the other room. Oh dear. I fear there are maybe consequences to these decisions. And we lost a punch of health, thanks to all that. Um, so I guess we go back up. Can we go back? What happen if we go back through the right door? Anything? No. Okay. So let's go back up. As you try to climb back up the trapdoor, your ears ring with an explosive sound. The whole building starts shaking. You climb back up, escaping from the rubble cloud coming your way. The moment you stand up, the trapdoor falls down from all the shaking. I guess there is no going back there. Alright then. Let's loot this first. A room key. Aha. We were looking for one of those last time. Now we just need to find the door that it opens. Oh, I think we're going to have to fight this guy. Seventy health. Okay, we've lost a bit of health, so uh, let's mend some. Some bleeding and two quick slashes. Okay, bleed. Bleed. Uh, I think I'm just going to put more bleed on actually. Bleed. 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 Oh, frenzy. Jeez. Chill out, dude. Oh, we're better using this during exploration and we heal for 10. Okay, we'll do that then. Well, that increases our maximum health as well. We should do these things. Uh, he is nearly dead, fortunately. Let's do some medicine. Hormone boost, give repost 8, deal 8 damage back on receiving a melee damage attack. That seems pretty good. My slowness 2, would you speak by 30%? Uh, yeah, repost. Item ready by, remove radiation, okay. Aha, power up. Um, yeah, we did have high dexterity and low strength. I feel like for a dagger, though, surely our strength is what we want. Let's boost that, boost that. Uh, probably check that out, right? Yeah, physical damage. Increased by physical power. Increased by physical defense of the target. Okay, so uh, let's add that in. I guess this is not unlike Slay the Spire, right? Because when we add cards to our deck in Slay the Spire, they are in permanently as well. Unless we can remove at the merchant. It's just the way this is set up, because of the fact that it comes into your trunk, so you have a choice to equip it, it, it feels more like you should be able to unequip. Lollibut, hi, how are you doing? So you recommended this to me, right? So I thought I'd check it out. Or at least check out the demo. Save, save, save. I did save. Okay. To the equipment. What else did we get? Needle. Level 5. Crit chance. Uh... Okay, so that does improve our crit chance, but it will reduce our speed. 
Um, not sure. After the first run with Jake, I kind of didn't get very far, and it, I didn't get enough cards to feel like there was much uh, depth to it. You basically just played all of the cards that you could with your energy. Um, so wasn't totally convinced. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give it another go with her and see uh, see what she's like. Admittedly, I've I've got all of the booster packs that I can get in the demo, um, and I haven't equipped any of those cards for her, uh, just because I kind of didn't want to read through a bunch of stuff without having played through at least once on her. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Kara's more fun, you think? Okay. The whole kind of lo-fi aesthetic takes a bit of getting used to as well. Um, don't necessarily mind it, uh, but I don't know, yeah, it just takes a bit of getting used to. Uh, and like, I feel like a lot of it's not really explained very well. Oh, we need to do this actually. Uh, let's, yeah. Do that to heal. Uh, how, how, how do I do this? Drag. I am dragging. Dragging right on Kara. Heal. Heal. On my portrait. Oh. Oh, it is, to be fair, it does have that around it. Thank you. Um, cool. Okay. Uh, and we'll do, actually we're going to do that as well. Oh, that's good. That increases our maximum health and it gives us health. Cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, I didn't do half of this stuff with Jake either, so I was pretty weak and the first elite just killed me. Um, two point zero one physical defense. Oh yeah, they're just telling me that. Minus 2.01 physical defense and get dark defense. Okay, but like what's dark defense? So there's no tooltips when I hover over here, so I don't really know what that's doing. I guess if we had cards that use dark defense, it would it would say. Uh, I mean these do say like physical damage increased by physical power, reduced by physical defense of the target. Presumably there's kind of dark attack cards as well that that would boost. Seems alright. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can we avoid them? Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, there's a man. Big shirt. Light power. Don't think we need light power, but. Talk to the man. What are you doing there? You look a bit sus. I'm not good at bargaining, if that matters. Okay. Buy items, equipment, and card from the cards from the left panel using your resources. Sell items from the right panel to get resources. Each shop trades with different resources. Some some shops accept coins, others trade with bullets. Oh, please trade with bullets because I can't use them. Uh, yeah, these symbols are kind of cryptic as well. Like, what is that currency? I guess it's that, whatever that is. But what is that? Is that pennies? I think that's pennies, isn't it? Uh, we have nothing we can sell. I oh, know we do have stuff we can sell. What are chemicals good for? Anything other than selling? Shotgun shells are no good. We can't use shotguns. So sell both of those. Keep the radiation meds. We may need them. Ah, uh, the flare hasn't felt super useful. See for credits, I guess. I guess. That makes sense. I think, I think, uh, well, I'm, I'm making an assumption here that it is the pennies that you pick up. Um, as it was saying on the Discord, you can remove cards from your deck using pennies. So, I'm guessing maybe that's it. I don't know. Pistol bullets, let's sell all three of those. We can't use those either. Yeah, chemicals. I don't know. Can I use chemicals? 
Pearls? Should I just sell them? What are they good for? Worth one thing. I think it's just the, the resource, right? 26 of those. Does he actually take any of those anyway? Uh, nope, he just deals in credits. Hmm, okay. Uh, pff, I don't know, what do we want? Physical power, we don't have a hat at the moment. So maybe that would be good. Uh, can we, yeah, we can view our party. So definitely a hat. And physical power feels good. Just gonna go for straight. Yep. Got one of them. Uh, oh, there's another hat there. That's a cursed hat though, we don't want that. Bandage, bandage stops bleeding. I'm not sure if you can hire companions in the demo version, but in the full version, it is always a good idea to keep resources in case you hire a companion who uses that resource. Ah, okay. Yeah, I haven't found any way to get other people in the party yet. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if that's just not in the demo or I just didn't get that far. Um, so for now, I'm just going to spend all my money. If, if there's something that's worth getting. Um... What's this? Open wound. Trigger up to five bleeding stacks on the target immediately. For eight energy. Apply bleeding one to a random enemy five times. Stealth blow. Deal... Physical damage equal to the stealth that you have. I have no way of getting stealth. Another quick slash. Demoralizing drug. Remove three buff stacks from an enemy. Cutting tantrum. Deal two to a random enemy eight times. I don't know, I don't know, are there any of these any good? Dream prepaid card. Oh, worth four of those things. See, a different type of currency. Of that kind of ATM we saw earlier. Uh, but I don't think I'm going to go all the way back there. Maybe I should get one just in case we find one in future. Let's do that. Uh, pills, they heal, right? I think I need heals. We like healing. So maybe not eight there. Let's take, I don't know, three. Oh, we bought, we bought the ex, bought the fancy dream pay, prepaid card. Okay, that's fine. That was worth it for, or for, or credits for four, whatever that resource is, as opposed to three for one. Seems better. Um, are we... Let's... We might... We might be wounded or bleeding, so... Let's take a... Couple... Wait, what can I do? Oh, he's only got one to sell. Okay, let's take one of those. Uh, that's pretty much all our money gone. That's alright. I'll do. Oh, we can sell all of these anyway. I don't think they're good for anything. Uh... Oh, these are my resources that I have. Oh, but they're no good. Yeah, these things are no good for him. Oh, well, okay. Too late. Let's hope I don't need them anywhere else. All right. Onwards. Oh, sorry. Going around you. Break, run away from the bugs. Okay, where are we going? We got a key. We got to find the room that the key opens. Uh, that's an egg. Surely an egg can't move. Can we 
Ankles. Dirty coat. Is the dirty coat an upgrade? Uh, not unless we want more physical power. Oh, we got our hat. Yes. Need our hat on. Mm. Gonna have to fight if I want to go through that door. Go this way first. Matches. Give vision one to the hero. Decays every five steps. Demonic sports hat. Uh, increases our crit chance there. Completely lost. Okay, we are heading back into a place where we've been before. So where is the key gonna I can kinda see where the other rooms are, I think maybe. There's glitches. Um Last time there was a door to the right. I don't know if it's gonna put it in the same place or not. But we are gonna head back to the ATM. Yeah, let's go back to the ATM. Uh and see if we can buy anything exciting there. Broken fork. I'm assuming. Now, is this an item or is this a like a relic? It feels like it's. It feels like it. I mean, it describes it as an artifact. If this isn't something I have to consume to use, uh, then I'm gonna take that and that. So they both sound. Good. Uh, and he does, yeah, it does say passive, which implies always on. Why is this flashing at me? Oh, the demonic sports hat. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Um, do I want to try? I suppose I should investigate down here first. Oh, but then I'm gonna have to fight that elite probably. I don't want to fight an elite. Or maybe I can stay clear. Thing in here. Things to loot here. Armored jeans. Speed. I think I want a key. What have I got? Extra physical power. Let's keep the physical power for now. Sharp blade. So we can equip a secondary set of items and then flip to them. So I guess we should do that right if we wanted to go from physical power and crit chance that's a big physical power and crit chance though holy the odds of wanting to flip to this seems small uh, that's but we might want to do that for like something like that maybe no is that how that works We could equip a like a secondary one. We can. Need chance. Okay, we'll stick with we'll stick with those, but I guess if we've got the other two things we may as well leave them equipped. It may be useful at some point. Ooh, creature. Uh do we really need to go up here? I don't think so, no. Let's go all the way back down here. 
And let's head to the right. I think that's where we need to go. Try not to get killed by the elite. Wait, were you there before? Who are you? Go on you. Won't force you. Good. Recruiting! If you recruit companions, they will join your party and you will control them during encounters. Oh, uh, this is going to be a guy who needs bullets, isn't it? I got rid of all my bullets. I hope you brought your own supply. Companions have their own decks which you can expand by adding cards from your trunk. After recruiting companions, you can edit your party using the squiggle button. In the character window, you can designate fighters or dismiss companions from the party using the button. Okay. Officer Charlie. Well, I think you should come along. Insurgent, deal 20% against increased direct damage against robots. Robots? Okay, sure. Uh, okay, and he's got the gun deck that kind of Jake had. So, uh, yeah. Are you going to join us for free? I think you are. Sweet. More firepower. Uh, except if I've got no bullets at all, then is he going to be able to do anything? Possibly not. Possibly not. But what can you do? Okay, so the passage we want to get to is over this way somewhere. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna have to fight the egg. No, what is it? It's binary thing. Contaminated crawler. Okay. So how does this work? Okay, so yes, yeah, so I do her turn, then this goes, then I do Officer Charlie's turn, and then so on. Okay, so even if you can't do anything, I don't think it's a disadvantage to having him in the party. This is still only doing three damage, but everybody's now got more energy. Oh, shoot. This is the thing that radiates us. Oh my god, I can't believe I sold all my bullets. Oh, you did warn me. You did warn me, Lolly, but... Nah, I'll be fine. We won't need that. Okay, I'll just have to turn the radioactive. Wait, what happens again with the radioactive? Over 40 stacks. Oh, 40 stacks? That's fine. We've only got three. Okay, so every 20 steps when walking on unvisited tiles during explore exploration. <laughs> uh, decays what? By one? It's going to take forever to go away. Oh well. Now we can do about that. Officer Charlie. Oh well we can, hang on, we can, we can at least, we'll conserve ammunition. Yeah, we don't want to use all our ammunition. No. We haven't got any. At least he can, uh, uh, but pistol whip is a melee damage, so that's going to irradiate him as well. He does have stronger attacks than she does, so it probably actually makes more sense for him to do the attacking than her. Weapon not equipped? Oh, he needs a flashlight for that. Why do you not bring your flashlight, Officer Charlie? Come on, man. Does this count as melee damage? It doesn't look like it does. It's not. I'm going to bleed you to death then. And there we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Four radiation each. Pistol bullets. There we go. Armored trousers. Still don't know what dark defense is good against. Um, Weeping tantrum. Okay, that was the one we saw earlier. Mend eight health of another ally. Uh, I like the idea of having some healing cards. 
And if we give that to her, that will let her heal the officer. So, God, it's expensive there. Oh, and it needs two chemicals. Hey, there's things that I sold all of them because I said, ah, they look like they're only good for money. <sighs> oh, God, do they power my other healing card as well? Can I not heal at all now? Probably. Uh, draw two cards, restore two energy. Yeah, but you've got to pay three energy. Uh, okay, wounding tantrum. Collect all. Can I learn something? Um, what does this do again? Mend power. These desperately need tool tips. I assume that's good for like for the healing stuff, but I don't really know. I feel like I just want to boost her strength. So that her attacks can actually do something. Um Okay, Officer Charlie's got no pants. Seems questionable. Dark defense. Speed. Light power. He doesn't have a flashlight. Got no hat. Have a hat. Um, guess speed. Be fast. Police uniform level 5, plus 3 physical power, plus 3 physical defense, plus 1 speed. That does seem pretty good actually. And I can't imagine anything's going to be better than that. That's better speed. Okay. And her. Everything is worse in some way. Okay, it's nothing that's just uniformly better. Okay. Deck. Do we want to add Wounding Tantrum to our deck? Bleed one to a random enemy five times. Let's bleed five for three. Oh, as opposed to bleed three for three. We can't choose the target. Uh, yeah, I think that's worth it. Save. Done. Uh, Officer Charlie, we can't do anything with your cards anyway. Alright. Keep heading this way. Beggar. A man sitting near the wall catches your eye. He doesn't seem to be aware of you, probably unconscious or sleeping. Okay, we met him last time and it was good when we woke him up. Call out to him and get no response. Decide to shake him a little, trying to cough something out. Help him. I guess six pistol bullets and five AA batteries. Okay, it's so the same outcome. I don't know if those things are the same outcome every time or if it's randomised. That was the door that was locked last time, I think. We didn't see a message there saying it had been opened. I want to walk on as many tiles as I can to get my radiation down. Lock door. Oh, here we go. Unlock. Found the key. What lies through here? Something bad, probably. Uh, the exit and a giant freaking spider. Can we sneak out? A locked door. We need the exit key. We don't have the exit key. Where's the exit key? Has that spider got it? Oh, he's going to kill us. Maybe he's got the key. I feel like we've been... We explored everywhere. Pretty much, right? Oh god, if there was something hidden in this area here, that will be super annoying. I don't know whether the enemies drop stuff. I suspect we are going to have to fight him there. Uh, I guess we should heal him. And anything else we can do before we go into this? Really? 
Radiation five, not worth doing. Okay, maybe this guy's got the got the key. Let's fight an elite. <laughs> Crawl the brute. This is what killed me last time. He's nasty, but at least now there's two of us. It's like more of a fair fight. Okay, now I don't get this at all. So we're both webbed for reduce speed by 20%, prevent dodge. I assume is dodge a thing that we can just do to avoid being hit? The start of its own turn, let's get two struggle cards. Uh, so I guess we do want to get out. Here we. Can't decide whether it's worth trying to get out of this or whether we should just stay where we are and smack it. I feel like last time we spent too much time trying to get out. And if we just hit him, uh, we would have killed him. But. Because it seems like he's pretty fast. Speed 6, 4.7, 3.2. Okay. I don't know how much difference this makes. Does she have. Uh, oh, conserve. Normal. Okay, I think hers are the same. Okay, let's get some bleed on this thing. Whack it a bit. He's out of energy. Alright. What can we do here? Oh, gain dodge. Okay. But this prevents dodge, so it's no good doing that. Your five light damage to all enemies, reduced by the light defense of the target. You don't have a flashlight though. Ah, I got these cards in his deck that I can't use. 11 damage to a random enemy three times. I mean, that's pretty good. How many bullets have we got? 11. Do that. Do that. Do that. We have 13 damage to gain dodge one. Dodge is a guaranteed avoidance of the attack, which is pretty good. But there's no point doing it now. So I guess we'll just pistol whip and then be done. Keeps going for the officer. Oh, and me. Or her. I guess they're both me. Ah! Oh my god, so many attacks. Oh, well, no, actually, no, that's the bleed decay, isn't it? Is the bleed decay. All right. You've repost eight. There we go. Oh, I can't play it though. Can I? Can I? I can. Oh, I have some chemicals. Good. I don't know where they got it came from, but I have some. Good. Although now he's probably just going to hit the officer instead. I bleed one to random enemy five times. Okay, well that's more efficient. Two energy left. Let's hit him for ten. Nice. Okay. Stab her. Stab her. Yeah, repost. Okay, let's mend four health. Officer Charlie. Well, let's stack some bleed on you. Can't use the flashlight ones. I'm gonna get him out of those because he can at least use uh, the dodge. We reduce physical defense and dark defense by 50%. Ah, uh, gain dodge one. 
out of energy. Come on, hit her. Dodged it. It passed. It's taking quite a bit of damage. Uh, repost 8. Okay, so where is the repost? It's got, okay, it's above there. Oh, but it lasts for a certain amount of time. So... Oh, but then it decays to repost 7. Right, okay, so repost 8 doesn't mean it lasts for 8 turns. It means it deals 8 damage back. And it lasts however long it lasts. Okay, so let's give him repost as well. Because that seems super good. And then we'll bleed, 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 bleed. Bleed. And give him a quick slash as well. Okay. Let's make you weak. I guess if we dodge the repost, we'll go off. Oh, this will kill him. Okay, done. All right, not so bad when you got two heroes. Rough spongy coif. Uh, e dark defense, quick chance. Shotgun Charles, battery, and a let dust. Worth one currency of some description. Exit key, that's what we were looking for. Selects an item. Ooh. Glass cannon toy. Uh, possessor deals 40% increased damage with ranged attacks, but receives 100% increased damage from incoming attacks. Football helmet. When the possessor receives a killing blow, they survive, restore 25% of their max health and get dodge 3. Does not work against bleeding, repost, and other condition damage. The item is destroyed when this effect triggers. Okay, well this seems better than this. Or Phoenix Pendant, discard your hand, then draw the same amount of cards. This item can only be used once during the first ally turn of encounters before using any cards. Uh, I think we'll go for Full Helmet. And a card, Group Healing, Mend Health, 5 Health of all allies. Live decoy. It's no good till he's got a flashlight. Okay, in dodge two. That's pretty good. Dodge is handy. Okay, let's take that. Collect all. Okay, so we will add that to his deck. Let's save. Doesn't have any cards. Uh, dark defense and crit chance. Uh, that's the worst crit chance. So I don't think we want to equip that. So, done. And then we can go through the exit. Leave. No turning back. Rest. Okay, four of the weird currency things again. Rearrange cards, restore health. Uh, oh, that lets us maybe modify our deck. Let's restore health. Oh, this is the currency, I guess. So, yeah, we restore 20 there. 38. 48. That's kind of more than we need. We can use the pills to heal him. Rearrange cards. Okay, so this is what lets us take some out of our deck. Don't think we need to do that, so apply and continue. I thought that might be the end of the demo, but it's not. All right.
Let's get a sense if there's a kind of story happening here. Uh, let's heal you. That's good. We have got this thing that heals. So that can be basically healed for five when we kill an enemy. It's pretty good. Ooh. It looks a bit more scary. It's going to shoot us. Portal bubble defibrillator. Spend. Oh, yes. I haven't done that, have I? I have a designate a possessor. Uh, spend 15 battery power for one of these effects. Target a downed ally to revive them with 10% health. Living ally to remove all disabilities. Enemy to power blinded three. Pantaloons. Light power speed. Crit chance. They look pretty good. Uh, okay, who do we want to protect? Don't really know. Uh, light power is not much good. Power. Wait. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, it's better for him. Okay. We sneak through here. Go behind. Can spot us. God. V U. Container of some kind. I misclicked the helmet. I think it said it was uh it was equipped, wasn't it? Hang on. Uh, I know. Find Spongy Shepherd, physical defense and light power. That might be pretty good as well. It's still unequipped. I thought I saw it was equipped. Hang on, I'll check it. Uh, down at the bottom it says Possessor Kara. So I think that's right, isn't it? Okay, cool. Uh, physical defense. Jesus is crit chance. Mm. Yeah, uh, let's give him more physical defense. Feels like that's better than crit chance. More reliable. Sports T-shirt, dark defense, crit chance. Kind of thinking that's probably not better for anybody. I clicked on him like multiple times. Uh, no, that that doesn't seem good. It's an ATM, but we spent all our money last time. So, oh, and in fact, it's the, it offers the same stuff. Interesting, okay. Uh, I guess we got to sneak past him. Oh, he does, he does have more of a vision cone, actually. I think we just got lucky there. Uh, yeah, Penny. Okay, yeah, pennies are worth one credit. Uh, give us a big speed boost. I don't really know. I feel like there's like lots of items and 
Yeah, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Okay, we are not getting past. This is a friendly bad looks of it, I think. So I guess we fight that. Oh, we're going to fight both of them together. Okay, no, just a weary slug. On suffering one stack of a debuff, lose one stack of abilities. Ah, uh, great. Well then, how about being debuffed? Four energy at the start of the next own turn. It's harsh. Oh my god, he so needs a flashlight. Like a lot of the time it feels like there's you just play there's not much thought goes into which cards you play. He's got, he's got more variety, although the fact that he doesn't have a flashlight just immediately eliminates some of them. Um restore ten health. He's healing himself. How many bullets have we got? Fifteen. Oh wait, I should have made him weak first. Done. Has he actually attacked us at all yet? damage to us. Cool. Matches, pistol bullets, ruthless squishy cap. And a card. You enroll serotonin for all allies add two stacks to an existing buff. These seem kind of boring so I'll take that one. Okay, Kara learn something. Um This will boost the health, won't it? Well health is kind of okay at the moment. Uh boost it anyway. And Officer Charlie. Give him more. Well. Let's give him more health as well. Okay, who's this dude? You can help me. Sounds good. Are you shotgun dude? No, you're Nurse Myra. With what is that attached to your face? Okay, you're another daggery syringy person. Can I have multiple recruits?
can. Then why not? Why not? No downside, right? Do you want a hat? I got lots of hats. Yeah, do you need light power? Do you need speed? What do you need? Dark defense, crit chance. Remind me, what was your deck? Uh, you're the healer. Buffer. Interesting. Mend power, yeah, okay, so mend power is something to do with healing. Physical defense and crit chance. Uh, let's give you, can you crit on a heal? I don't know. Let's give you some speed. And you've also come out with pants. Why is everybody coming out with pants without pants today? We want speed, dark defense. And we can filter these. Filter on pants. Can't filter on pants. Slot type. Board by slot type. There we go. That makes more sense. Pencil skirts. Although that was probably my starting item. Still, physical defense, speed, speed, dark defense. Make some physical defense. Uh, do I want to give you this? I actually want to give this to somebody or to her. No, I guess I'll I guess I'll give you it. Okay, maybe that makes sense. Nurses usually have a very nice vest in the full version when you hide them. Okay. I mean that's not bad. 3.4 men power, 2.6 physical defense, 10% crit chance seems seems all right I'm gonna avoid you I don't like you you've got a gun scary plus 10 crit is super nice so so she can crit on like uh on healing effects then can she it's not just like damage It's not really an explanation of what crit works on. Which way are we going? Uh, I guess we'll check out if there's anything at the bottom down here, which there isn't. Wander over here. Okay, pistol bullets, thin dax, light power, dark defense. Eh. When am I gonna get a flashlight, man? Elite, that's an elite. Oh no. Oh, elite scare me. I do have three characters now though. I've got three characters. It's an elite slug. Probably we can have an elite slug. Oh, it's an army of slugs. With a helper bot. A robot? A robot and two slugs. Uh, since Kara uses knives, it could be a good idea to give her the nurse shirt. Makes your companion healing less because of lesser crit heals, but increases the damage for Kara. Right, okay. Yeah, feel free. Yeah, backseating, welcome. Go, go ahead. I, I, yeah. <laughs> if you're sitting there going, no, don't do that. No, why is he doing that? The fool. But then, then just tell me. That's that's totally fine. I may ignore you, uh, but um, feel free to suggest. Can a robot bleed? Oh, dark armor. Increase physical defense and light defense by 20. Your case on receiving light damage. Oh no, that's bad. We got no light damage. But 
does that block bleed? I'm guessing maybe not. So maybe I'll stack some bleed on on that slug. And smack it before it gets any defense. Flashlight so bad. Um, well, there's only two cards I can play, so I guess that's what we're gonna do. Focus fire on this thing. It's a good idea to do all the fights. Okay, if you had done all the fights, your character would be much higher level. Plus, you missed a lot of those pills that give permanently max hit points. Did I? I thought I'd searched. Mo oh, but we get it from the fights. Ah, okay. Right. I guess I was focused on trying to see as much of the game as I could, because uh, I died yeah, pretty quickly last time. The only stat you need to increase on Kara is agility to increase crit rate. Oh, uh, really? Can we see the stats from here? Ah, uh, yeah, there, I guess. So why is crit rate better for her than, um, than say... Wait, what? Uh, agility, so that's dexterity, is it? No need to put points in vitality. Why, sorry, why is that? Kara can get a lot of melee cards with multi-attacks. Okay, so she'll end up net doing more damage if we focus on the crit then rather than just the base damage. Okay, all right, I will bear that in mind. Can we do anything with these? I don't think we can, can we? No. Rent is fine, but crit is better. Okay. Cool, cool. Elite Dark Slug. Maybe we should have killed the Elite thing first. Wait, why is he up to 136? Did I really not do that much damage? Oh, what's he doing? He's doing bad stuff. Marked. Poison 2. Reduce physical power and physical defense. That seems like a thing we should do. Is the helper bot going to heal them? No, man power 0. Probably not. Kara would be about 120 hit points at the moment, would she? Oh, oops. Uh, so what you're saying is I'm going to die pretty soon. Oh my god, the nurse, the nurse is almost dead already. Jesus. Uh, well, I'll let's kickstart to gain an extra two energy. Uh, okay, well, let's remove that target. Oh, that's probably not going to help. Uh, oh my god, I'm going to die, aren't I? I'm going to die. Slow this thing down. And uh, give everybody more energy. Overcharge. What's the helper bot doing? Give repost. Okay, we're definitely going to do that. I don't know who they're more likely to go for. Five stacks of that, so maybe me. Uh, lead randomly. Don't know who to focus on. This dude feels bad, but. Focus 
focus on the one. Three, eleven. Okay, yeah, so crit is proccid already. Wait, I've got a bunch of items up here as well. I need to not forget about these. Very important stat on equip is dodge. Every character in your party should have at least one to two dodge on equipment to prevent damage during the first round of combat. Lots of monsters attack before you attack. Okay. Do I have much equipment that gives dodge? I think I do. I think most of the equipment that I've got... Oh, we never read the note. No, I'm going to die before I can read the note. Okay. This guy seems good for dodge. My weak. Oh, uh, really? Okay. Okay, I'm still going to focus on this thing. going on. Mend 9 health. E mend 24 health of another ally. Wait, how much am I spending to do that? Okay, 3. I uh, know, I'm not. 6. 6 and 3, okay. Not on you. Do that on you. We have three debuff stacks. Uh, does that mean that's almost gone? We can't do both. Let's put that on him. Given he had some kind of armor. And we are done. Always use reserve. Reserve. What's reserve? Even heal with reserve. Sorry, what's my reserve? Serve. Oh, right, okay. Uh, or with some of them, right? Wait, did it cost me? Oh, no, okay, I thought. Okay, so none of these have a conserve mode anyway. Is that just for. All resource costing cards have weak versions. Oh, they do have a weak version. But holding Alt down while I was over it showed it. No, she's using energy to switch. Shoot. Ah, I thought it was free. Ah, wasting, wasting, wasting. hasn't it? Uh, no, he's still got a stack of weak on. I put a stack of weak on this front one as well.
Da. Okay. Actually, I thought holding down Alt showed you the version, but it doesn't. Okay. It's fine. Only death is for free. They're doing some fairly serious damage to us. Yeah, I can see how dodge would be super useful. Uh, okay, let's give some repost to her. This has got 13 bleed, so this should die, right? Oh, although, is this going to trigger as well? I don't know which order these are triggering in. Let's try and... Uh, I don't know whether that's enough or not. Okay, reduces physical power, physical defense. Lens, remove the buff stacks. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of it from her as well. Stick some poison in that. Okay, one down. Assume it's down. It's not vanished. Mm. Bullets. I'm almost out of bullets. She's nearly dead. Dirk killed the nurse. Okay, time to get some bleed on him. Three. Yeah. Why is this thing still triggering on here? Oh my god, she's nearly dead. Could use that to heal up a five. Heal up a nine. Stay alive. Uh, what, how much physical defense? Yeah, okay, so let's poison that thing as well in case we have. Whoa, running out of resources. Uh, oh, okay, yep. Conservation mode will be highlighted when there are weak cards to use. Like now. Oh no, I'm out of my chemicals. Oh shoot. That's bad. And two stacks to an existing buff. Okay. Uh, no point doing it now anyway. I'm out of energy. Uh, who hasn't got repost? You. Can't do it on you. Is that because he's got dodge? Oh, it needs chemicals. Uh. Okay, bleed. Bleed. Hit. Hit. need like a taunt of some description. Uh, seven bullets left. Watch two. I still 
Mission 10. That's rude. What are you, de what are you doing? You should be dead. Let me coming back from the dead. Four bullets and a dream. It's okay, it's gonna be fine. Let me just hack it to death. Eleven. Get in. Three. Uh, surely the bleed is gonna finish that off now. Let's put some bleed on the robot. Okay, she can't do anything. She's got to go into weak mode. Spend three health. Okay, at least we can still heal a bit. Two damage. You know what? If you finish this thing off, you get a heal. So you should do that. Only three heal. Okay. Well, it was more than that. For a ten percent of the max. Mm. Yeah, she should have got thirty health. Eek! Squishy. All right, just the robot left. Starting with wheat, seems good. Come on, surely now. Can these things come back alive? Why, why are they doing stuff? I guess maybe they can, right? Maybe not in this fight, but maybe in general. Their companions might have a way to res them. Leather hat, light power, 9.51 physical power, condition decent. I think that's the first non junk thing we've seen. Primer leader. Okay, that seems pretty good. Uh, torn headgear, dark defense, battery, rotten lemon. Allies restore 40, oh, sorry, one energy for every fourth extra card drawn. Okay. Worth some of that. All right. Give restoration six. Restore six health on decay. Seems pretty good. Take that. Collect all. Okay, Kara learned something. So you think uh, crit is the best. That boosts a crit chance by 2%. And the speed, actually. So sure, that was her main stat. I guess I should have focused on that anyway. Oh, and again, two. Now, uh, Officer Charlie, so I guess the best thing for him is strength, although, <laughs> given our lack of vitality. Uh, although there's items that increase vitality, so yeah, let's do that on strength. Nurse, the nurse desperately needs some more health. I will give that to her. Okay. And what do we get? Worry that the nurse is gonna die. So I need more. Uh, more chemicals. God, so many new things. 
Okay, dirty coif, physical power. Um, okay, so maybe this is good on Officer Charlie. Reduces his defense, but he's got a dodge a lot of the time anyway. Light power, okay, he doesn't have a flashlight anyway. Let's give him that. And I'm not going to bother with the others. Okay. Right. Chemicals. Torch! Finally. Finally got a torch. Good. Primer leader. Oh. What's Primer leader do? Wish I knew. Do we want him to have two? Oh. Abandoned car. I can see a lone car rotting away. While it would be on the extreme end of the optimism to hope for a working car, it might be good to check it out. Carefully walk to the car, you sneakily peek through the windows. The back seats seem fairly empty, except for a pink woman's purse. When you look into the front, you see that from under the steering wheel, some cables are hanging down. The car seems like it would fall apart the moment you touch it. Wouldn't be a decent shelter. <laughs> Try to hotwire the car. Uh, I feel like that's not gonna end well. So let's get the purse and leave. Oh man, I don't have 10 strength. That's a pretty tough purse. Let me try and hotwire it. Let's try and hotwire it. Make the battery in the... Uh, you may want to check if the battery has any juice. Some loud screeching sound starts coming from the radio. By the time you realise what was happening, the glove box of the car flings open and the noise stops. You see a pistol in the glove box. Okay, take the pistol and put it into your inventory. Uh, okay, random. Did we actually get anything? I don't see any equipment new. Ah, oh, there it is. Occult Detective Special. Plus 9 physical power, plus 5 physical defense, plus 10%, that's plus 4.8 physical power. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. There we go. Have that. Pristine. Pristine condition. Physical power 28.31. This guy's a beast. Okay. Oh, there's a giant, giant slug. Another elite. Can we just not fight elites for a bit? It's a dead end anyway. He's probably got something we need. Oh, let's go fight him. Let's go fight him. We've got our detective. Is it detective special? Could go wrong. Corpulent worm. All right, we're first up as well. Okay, weak. 28, dodge one, draw one card. Oh, look at the damage this guy's doing now. This is awesome. Four energy, four energy. Apply mark two when dealing damage. Sweet. Oh yeah, and he's got this as well. Whoa, he's got this. 25 damage, 49 if he crits. Blinded. Reduce speed to zero. We're actually getting in a few attacks before this thing anyway. Uh, how much? Okay, we've got 19 battery power. Sure, let's do it. 
Man, this guy's so good now. What a difference. Okay, uh, healing would be good. Uh, I guess that's Myra. Let's give her cost on her. Put some bleed on. Heal 10 health. Okay, she's still got the least. And 25 health of another ally. How many? Oh, but we've only got two of these. But you know what? She's super low. Let's do it. And then we'll go into concert mode and we'll heal you. And then that'll do. Okay, it's the officer dude. 23 to an enemy, three times. How many bullets do we have there? We've only got six bullets. Target has blinded, deal the damage three times. Okay, maximize damage. Wow, that was awesome. Running out of. Uh, I can actually finish it off with this though. Yes. Wow. We minced it. Oh. Oh. Oh no. That's bad. That's very bad. <laughs> oh, that was a bit easy. Uh, oh, no. Carcass in agony. Carcass of control. Carcass beyond recognition. This just doesn't seem very good. Bleed, bleed them all. Don't know which one we want to do. So let's focus on one. Spikes, we passed four. E oh, we got two bullets left. Got two bullets left. Blinded one. Reduces speed to zero. Okay, let's do that. Heal. I'm sure I did more damage to him before. It's pistol whip. Enter. Okay, she can't do anything. Weak poke, weak heal. Okay, well, weak heal is better than no heal. And then poke, poke, poke. Can't do that. Lead. Slash 13. Three. Three. Keep doing that. Yes. Back you back. Although she doesn't have much health now. 16 light damage to all enemies. Or a large amount to the front one. 
he's gonna go no that's triggering the thing let's do that that unlocks the mall as well which is good oh god uh, oh no we've still got 14 battery power left we can do that and that is dead Seems to want to go. Oh no, okay, that's again, that's the thing declining, and then he's gonna go. One bullet left. Doesn't have dodge at the moment. So, let's use the bullet to give him dodge. Okay, focus on this. energy drink. Still don't have enough energy. Shoot. Ah. Uh. There's more damage to that one. Okay, she does have the football helmet on there. trigger three times. No, something went wrong. What went wrong? Something to do with this? Uh, probably. Should have done it on the bad guy. Can't do that. Light damage to all enemies. He's on 66 at the moment. So that did 11 to him. Nineteen or twenty. There's not much difference actually. So oh crit. Okay. Serve three kits. Oh. oh, she's nearly dead. Oh my god, it's both nearly dead. Is not good. Not good. No heals. But she can get rid of him, so she'll heal for a little bit. Oh, 
not enough energy. Three damage three times. Yes, there we go. Uh, I can't do that though. Come on, get a crit. Yes. Okay, that was... Oh, that's the exit key. Ha. Ah, guess we had to fight that thing then. Uh, item. Do we want a clay figure? Increase the hand size of the possessor for, by two for the first turn, but reduce it by one for the rest. Orange reflector. The possessor has a chance to hit other enemies with 30% of light they inflict. Probability depends on the crit chance of the possessor. Okay, we could give that to a uh, police officer. Or whip. Restore two energy, apply fatigue three to a random other ally. Take the reflector. Card. Mm, we're low on bullets. Take blinding flash. Fine torn headgear, physical defense, and speed. Or whoever needs that, and there is the exit. Call defense. It's the nurse, light power and speed. Oh yeah, that's not the best for her. Physical defense is good because she's got less hit points. Uh, do I want that in his deck? Already got one. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Well, I know you said to do all of the other fights, uh, but I am running out. Oh. Yeah, I'm running out of time here, so we're going to leave now. You succeeded! Okay, that's the end of the demo. Or maybe the run, actually. Maybe that is the legitimate end of a run. Two floors. Maybe that's because it's the demo. I don't know. Okay, well that was much more successful than the first run. There is another act in the full version. Okay, cool. Right. So the standard, yeah. Standard three floor. <laughs> three floor run seems to be the, uh, yeah, the de facto thing in this game. Plus an additional character as well. Okay. I saw, yeah, I saw there was a guy with a shotgun as well, right? I think he, oh yeah, he's not available. He is not available in the demo. It is Pavel locked in the demo. Axes and shotguns. Okay. He sounds like a serious dude. Okay, that was cool. Yeah, I enjoyed that more with Kara, I think. Uh, but also because uh, I didn't die before I found any companions like I did with Jake, uh, which was not much fun. Um, yeah, that was pretty, pretty fun. Pretty fun. I don't know. A lot of the time it feels like the cards... There's not a lot of decisions to make about what cards to play or in what order. Um, you pretty much just play whatever you've got in your hand. Um, you know, maybe a minor decision of do I put bleed on or do, or do I hit for some damage. Uh, I didn't draw the good cards. I mean, I did, yeah, I, so I do have a bunch of others in the card pool that I could use. Uh, I did deliberately just go in with her basic cards. Um, right. 
yeah, I, I kind of felt like for this run, given I didn't really know what I was doing, I would just play with the basics and then kind of add in whatever I got and just gradually build up, rather than having to try and get my head around, okay, you know, what does this do, what does this do, what does this do, is this good? I don't know. Um, there are a lot of other cards, are there? Okay, cool. I, yeah, I don't mind the, the kind of, the sort of the pixel art on the, the cards. They're actually, the cards are quite nice, I think. Uh, the art on those, they look pretty good. I'm still not sure about the kind of, the world. The world seems a bit bland. Uh, the map that you're moving around in. Um, I don't know whether they're planning to kind of spice that up at all. Um, but yeah, not bad. Oh, okay. Uh, boost packs. Oh, so I could buy more of these. I can actually buy probably all the rest of them. Oh no, 273. Buy nine more. So, yeah, a whole bunch of other cards. A lot of these look like they're the same, they're just additional copies, right? Yep. Stealth, we didn't we didn't mess around with stealth at all. Yeah, all the packs locked in the demo. Okay, well. Not bad, not bad. Thank you for the recommendation. Um, yeah, it's nice that they had a demo to check out. I don't know how different the early access version is. I guess that's the full version as well, so. Um, that's got the extra character and uh, more stuff as well. But yeah, cool. So there you go. That is Draft of Darkness. Uh, so thanks again, Lullabut, for the recommendation. Uh, thank you for watching and for your advice in chat. Uh, that helped me out as well. A big deal. Um, otherwise I would have missed some of those things. Um, a knock on the coffin lid is better. Okay. <laughs> the, the guy you first recommended knock on the coffin lid to me was on my stream last night. Uh, so I, I, I said it had been another, uh, another vote in favor for it. Uh, so he was quite pleased to hear that. So yeah, unfortunately no, no demo for that. Um, but maybe, I don't know. I've got so many games in my backlog as well. It's like, I don't know, like, what do I play next? I mean, even, you know, something like Vault of the Void, you could play like a ton more runs through that. Circadian Dice, I could do a ton more stuff in that. It's like, how long do you keep playing these things? It's like, like particularly with, with these kinds of games, right? You can just keep doing runs. Um, there's not really, you know, it's not like a, Typical AAA title, I guess, where you just play through, you start at the beginning and you play through to the end, and then that's done. That's the game finished. You put it aside and you move on to the next thing. Uh, these kind of games, it's much harder to kind of decide when to stop playing and move on to something else. Um, but yeah, we shall see. Okay, so yep, that will do it for now. Uh, thanks again for dropping by. Uh, and enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, this is BDL. I'll be signing out. Bye for now.